Hello everyone, Pam Dubois, Dream Real Estate TV, and I can tell you I am so excited, grateful to have with me the amazing Don Appel, mind realignment therapist and spiritual waitress. What would your advice be to someone that's actually stuck? These negative thoughts are coming, 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 coming. How do you actually deal with that, so to speak? Well, I know it sounds easier said than done, but it is as easy as shifting your focus. So what I, a little tip here, I teach people that imagine you are going on a holiday, you're going on a trip, you mm -hmm. already understand that when you get there, you're having fun, you know, it's going to be an amazing time. And you stay with that feeling, you never question how you get there. So right with regards to the mindset if there's something that you would like to bring into your life then you just go to the destination you just go to the result of it so many people are putting so much energy and effort into well how do i get that yeah and as long as you're going to ask yourself how do i get that you are then transcending this this message of keep me in communication with how but not with the communication of it's already here. I'm there. So yeah. it's very, very simple. If you now need to, you and everybody listening, you must put yourself into the feeling of the destination. You must put yourself into that feeling of being grateful for it already showing up. It's already here. Like you do when you book your vacation holiday, you know you are going to have amazing fun and you're excited. That's exactly the same concept with anything that you would like to actualize into the into your life. You can accomplish your ideal life based on what you are transmitting. But of right. course, it's not just mindset. It is a feeling of gratitude. You must yeah. feel it. Obviously, I we have set up AIA motivation because everybody's heard of the law of attraction. Everybody understands, oh, I know how to manifest. Well, do you? because the law of attraction cannot work with just a mindset. Everything is a thought, yes, but you have to apply feeling. Yeah. And then you need to add to that, that assumption that it's already here. You're already in your destination. Right, so true, so tr true. And thoughts are things, right? They really, thoughts are things. And so we could actually be manifesting and having the negative things come to us because we're thinking about that all that all the time we don't realize that we are actually manifesting that and I believe that I truly believe that because if you're in that mode of stuck where you're actually thinking these negative thoughts then all of a sudden all these negative things are coming to you and it's like why but thoughts are things right and then you then you're applying that emotional connection so as you're as you're thinking about well why is that going wrong why ha why haven't I got that emotion then kicks in so emotion supports that and it yeah. brings more of it but it's very it is simple i will tell you because i've proven it i've been doing it since i was two years old when you shift that attention thoughts do become things feelings do show up yeah and that's why the spiritual waitress she says you are what you order I love that. I love that. When did you come up with the spiritual waitress and how? Tell us a little bit about that. So obviously I did my two years of mentorship with Dr. Wayne Dyer and I understood that there are words that people keep using and they keep saying that they didn't like this and this is not what they want and the D-O-N-T because I've removed it from my vocabulary and the H-A-T-E. And I just thought every time somebody is talking about what they are not how to explain what they're not trying to attract as me trying not to use the word because I'm yeah. I never talk negatively so it's just like I have to think about negative talk um when they're looking at okay I didn't like this and this is not good I was then thinking that you're just ordering it and yeah. then I thought ordering ah that's Okay, let me be a waitress for a second. So if I came to you in a restaurant and I said to you, and I'm gonna repeat your order based on what you've just said, you're ordering negati negativity, I'll start again. You're ordering negativity, you're ordering um, pessimism, 
you're ordering toxic energy. And I say, and here's a plate of exactly what you ordered. People look at me like, no. So then I, I adapted the spiritual waitress because again, you are what you order. So I just like to make people aware on, this is what you're ordering in yeah. for your life. Everything that you're saying right now, you're ordering in for your life. So the spiritual waitress, I talk about her like she's the third person, but she is me. Mm -hmm. But the spiritual waitress can only be happy with herself if she knows that you are ordering healthy options because it's good for you. You are what you think and you are what you eat. So yeah. As long as you're putting healthy thoughts into your mind and as long as you're eating healthy food, you're going to feel and react a lot more healthier in your everyday. Oh my goodness. So, so important. And I love that you actually manifested that spiritual waitress because that yes. is just like perfect you know for exactly what you're doing you know and you're that's actually, my brand everybody yeah. knows me as the spiritual waitress like who is this what's your name it's dawn but i am the spiritual waitress that is so excellent i love that um anything else that you want to share with us that we as we um wrap up here i would like to remind people that you are all deserving of the best life and i ask you to apply your focus to success kindness love laughter gratitude and respect and as you apply your focus to that the only thing or the only opportunities that show up will be connected to exactly where you're putting your focus and your attention Oh, I love that. I love that. And and one of the biggest things as you go through that is love, love. Everyone that you actually meet on a day-to-day -day basis, everyone that you come in contact with, always have that feeling of love in your heart for them, you know, because they are all part, we're all part of the same. And so I think that is just, yeah, so important. Spread love, spread love, spread love. Share with us your uh, information and how people can get in contact with you. Well, obviously, I have an Instagram page, The Spiritual Waitress. I have Facebook, Spiritual Waitress. I have TikTok, Spiritual Waitress. And we are now building the AIA Motivation website, which is still under construction. And I'd just like to add one more thing, which is really important. Sure. I'm Absolutely. grateful to you. I'm grateful to you, Pam, because I know that only people on my frequency or people who love to be in this frequency show up in my life. So I feel blessed to know you. And I say to you and to everybody, stay authentic, be your authentic self and trust that you are deserving of everything and more. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And I am so grateful for you. You've been an amazing person in my life since I've met you. And I just, I'm so grateful for you. So much love and oh my gosh. Um, I can <laughs> I get super emotional when I think about you, but you're in my heart. I just, you know, you've done so much and I just am greatly, greatly appreciative and grateful. And you guys, if you want an amazing experience, if you're looking to actually change your thought it's process, the become the person that you actually are, you already are that person. You just need to step into it, right? is just stepping into that greatness that you have in you. And she's amazing into helping you do that. So please connect with our wonderful spiritual waitress, Dawn here. I'm so grateful. And you guys stay safe, be blessed, and we will see you soon. And click on her link. I will post it so you can actually get in touch with her. Again, stay safe, be blessed, and we'll talk to you soon.